What's up guys, this is Paul with Cassis Media. Uh, this video, I want to show you something really quick that I found out. Um, and it's it's like, I, I, I spent like maybe a half hour trying to find out the answer and it was the most, seriously, it was the most obvious answer. And I didn't even think about it. So I'm running Bootstrap for theme called Pico Strap with Live Canvas. But I installed the Divi Builder plugin, not the theme, obviously, you can't have two themes at once. I installed the plugin so I could make a header and footer that actually worked right. Um, because I can't custom code <laughs> to save my life. Uh, I do research. So I was thinking, I was doing some research, I came across this website. And um, what I found was, oh my god, I'm not going live, what the heck? Okay. What I found was um, that this, if you see here, this would normally wrap, but if I go into the module itself, this is the full width menu, which it really wouldn't matter. Uh, you have to go into advanced tab. We're gonna zoom in here. Advanced um, custom CSS. Move this guy over. And you're going to go down here to the menu link, to the active menu link, down to the drop down menu container and the drop down menu links. Okay, so this is important. So let me, um, let me see if I can draw for you what, what, why this is working. Um, so in CSS, it, it's automatically, while oh, that's loading, uh, it, it shows you here. CSS added here will target the following class and it shows you this so you don't have to do like you don't have to point for specific classes with this 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 whole code box is for these classes um, so you have a drop down menu container so when you when you uh, when you hover over this there's a container and then within that container is the actual links which is kind of, think of it like its own little, like a box in a box. So, um, you just use simple with colon 300 pixels, or, you know, you can adjust it for your website, but um, I'm gonna create a new thing here, just, uh, yeah, what the heck, for the heck of it. All right, so, let's find a pencil. Okay. So, um, maybe it's a little too thick. Okay. So this is my logo. These are my links. Here's my drop down. Um, so the way the way it works is when you drop down a menu, you have this container. And what was happening is I was getting, you know, my link, my link link, link, and then it was wrapping social media and then management was like on the second line and advertised with Nectarcast was on the second line too. So I was like, well, I, I either need to get rid of this padding here or I need to lengthen this whole thing to go to the end of the screen, right? So how do I do that? Well, um, what I found out was that this is actually there's two parts to it there's the container itself and then there's like this container within that container that has the links in it so if you were to make this whole the outside container longer so which I set the whole thing to 500 pixels and then you put this as like 300 pixels so it doesn't you know extend beyond this container which it would um, it's going to be nice and snug in there and give all this text enough room to be nice and comfy, right? So that's basically what I was trying to do here, and I succeeded. It took me a half hour to figure out something so simple, but this is something that you learn along the way when you're making websites. Um, if you don't know how to code or you didn't go to school for it or didn't take one of those online courses, you just kind of have to figure it out. Um, I love Divi Builder but it's slow and bloated, so I was learning to do stuff with HTML and CSS from scratch. So, I succeeded at what I wanted to do. I just wanted to use Divi for the header and footer. 
and uh, I think I, I think I've accomplished it. <laughs>